guys, we're out here off Miami, sight fishing a sailfish. Look at the dorsal. The dorsal's out of the water, feeding. Casting out a live sardine to him. Sailfish is what's known as balling bait right now with the dorsal out of the water. See that dorsal popping up? That's not something you see every day. That's a very unique thing for Miami. Um, he just ate a bait. I can see a bait on the tip of his lips. Here comes another sail. He's whited out. I gotta get the baits in there. And what's happening is they're basically swimming in circles around these baits feeding. I see two right now. They couldn't care that we're even here. Okay, let's see if he comes over. They're very preoccupied. I see one kind of coming. Let's see. Let's see if they'll come this way. Wow, that is beautiful. I've never seen anything like that in Miami for that long. That is classic balling bait right there. As pretty as it gets. We got sailfish, balling bait. We're out here on the 24 yellowfin. First day with a new boat. And we're watching bait get balled by a sailfish. Two of them just swimming around in circles. One of the prettiest things you'll ever see. Look at that, and they're just circling them and eating them. Two of them. You can watch this all day long. I can't tell. He's swimming around in circles. Got him. Got him on sailfish. Sight casted off Miami. Let's see him jump. Oh, he's going to jump. There he is. Dude, are you kidding, dude? This is the maiden voyage on the new 24 yellowfin sight casting sail. Coming up right now, coming up. <laughs> yeah! Pumped! Coming up. Coming down. <laughs> coming up, coming up. <laughs> That's a screamer, look at that. There he is. <laughs> you probably caught it on the camera, right? So now what I do, I want to fish by myself. I'll put the boat in reverse, and I'll chase this fish a little bit in reverse to help me out. Since I'm getting low on line, you see the spool? I probably only have about 80 yards left. So I gently pop it in reverse, and go after the fish in reverse. A good idea is to always clear the deck. I got a live dead bait here. Throw that over, get this rod out of the way, put this in the holder, move the net, So that way, I'm ready to fight a fish and I can run around without having to look down. So right now, the fish is still taking line, but I'm backing on him to slow it down a little bit. I might have to go faster. He's going way offshore. Back to neutral. This is a big salvage. This is a 80 pounder. You see this rod I'm using? I use this stuff for snook off the beach sometimes, tarpon. A lot of fun. But out here you need a lot of capacity. There he is. That's him way out there. Look at that. Wow, dude. There he is again. Wow, that was some jump. Full speed reverse. 
Now I'm going to go forward on the fish because he's taking so much line, I really got to recoup it. I got to get back to where I was. So now I'm going to pull full gain right now. I'm going about five, six knots after the fish. It's almost 10 miles an hour. But you can see my spool is filling up rapidly. I'm going to slow it down so I can keep up with it. And the reason I'm staying back here at the console is obviously because I got to drive. There he is. I see him under the surface there flashing. He just made some really big acrobatic jumps. There he is. Right there in the slick. And we're about to see him. Here he is. Big, big fish. March Madness right now. You see him going by? Look at that beauty. Coming around the back. Look at that. That is a nice fish. And that's it. That's a leader. We got a leader on the first sail fish. First day fishing on the new boat. Woo. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a glove on and I'm going to attempt to release this fish. Got to kick it in gear a little bit. A lot of times when you're going to release a fish, you want to have it in gear, otherwise it'll float under the boat like this guy just did. So you want to pull him out, keep it in gear, and that keeps him tracking. There it is. Okay, so right now, he's just tracking with us. Just like bass fishing, guys. Just like bass fishing. Now I keep him, I have it in gear, and I'm going to swim him. Make sure he's feeling nice and revived. Get the rod out of there. But the key is to definitely have it in gear. That is a big dorsal, huh? And that's what, exactly what we were looking at when we saw him balling the bait. We were looking at this giant dorsal coming out of the water, and they're corralling. They're scaring the baits into a big circle, and they come up and eat them, and one by one. We went back over there, hooked up a sardine, threw it at him, he couldn't resist. It was an easy meal. sailfish on the 24 Yellowfin Bay boat in March 2016 on a live sardine while ball and bait off Miami. Unbelievable.